Okay, looks something like that. Now I'm going to draw first the inferior, but I'm going to finish drawing the inferior border. Get the inferior. Water. Diaphragmatic. Surface. It forms the base of the lung. Let me draw to remember which color I use. No. Here. Mm. There you go. You got yourself. Lingula I should make this more like a tongue like Now each line is different in different people but the same basic idea like all anatomy there are some variations I'm gonna draw I'm gonna try to draw the edge here So that we can see the interior. Border. And let me repeat this. Type it. This is the left line. So now I'm going to label the cardiac notch. Somewhere in here. You know, in lab is when you actually can find these uh, things when you're actually looking at a real lung in a cadaver or you know whatever your school has for you to practice anatomy with so this is to give you the general idea and just show you how I review I wanna make a little bit of a deeper groove here than the original one I had
something like that. We have your the groove for fast first reeb. Okay. And for lingua, it doesn't have an R, by the way. So let me correct that. Uh, the, there's a groove for the subclavian artery. It's here. Rule for save clavian artery. I'm just gonna label the apex where I'm here. It's like you know the right lung also hit the apex. Now let's label the area for the trachea and the esophagus. We had an area of the trachea, if you remember, for the right lung we had that, and we had a groove for the esophagus, if you remember this previous drawing of the right lung. But this is the left lung area for trachea. It's always good to compare and as so esophagus. Yeah, I'm gonna lightly get to make something yeah so now let me draw an area yeah all the way to the bottom so that we can get an idea for the groove for the arch of the aorta. I'm not the best artist at all. I'm not an artist at all, actually. I'm going to actually now it's a little bit too fat. That. 
There we go. That's better. We get the groove for I'm just gonna draw it from the yeah. I mean write it from here. Groove for arch of the A order. And groove for descending A order Palmary ligament is gonna be there. I'm gonna finish drawing it out in a little bit. And right there we're gonna have area of esophagus. I'm gonna finish drawing it out soon. That's area or yes, so for this. And yeah, let me draw a little bit more. I'm going to draw the hyla first. Uh, not too far there. I might have to fix that. Let me draw the vessels first. That will make it easier. I'm going to draw the pulmonary artery. So, right there. Pulmonary artery. Then I'm going to do the left main bronchus. Then I'm going to do pulmonary veins Okay, it's a little bit too big. Alright, now it makes it easier for me to finish drawing the pulmonary sleeve here. Sorry about that. It's getting late here. So I'm getting a little bit tired. And let's make it a little bit rounder.
There we go. Two. It's not perfect, but get the idea. There you go. Here is the plural sleeve is between the parietal and the visceral pleura. You might have to look at another image to see how uh, where the pulmonary sleeve is. Okay, so let's label these things that I just drew before. Pulmonary. Invasive veins that carry the oxygenated blood and the artery carries the deoxygenated blood. So the color reminds you of that. I didn't make it real red, but I used pink. And I used a purple light -like color instead of blue. But you get the idea. Here you have the for the bronchus. I need to make a little bit of groups here. Okay. So that we can label the superior lobar bronchus. Then we have the inferior lobar bronchus. Then we have the left main bronchus. Okay. And then we can label. Well, this is the whole left main bronchus, by the way. So, um gonna label the pulmonary ligament we well, already did okay good so we have what we need we need to label the and draw the bronchopulmonary lymph nodes so I'm gonna take a green color and go in here Actually, I just do here so that it's less confusing. Um, so here we go. I'll just draw. I'll just let it go here. There we go. Bronco. Pulmonary. Lint. Node. For the right lung, I forgot to label it, but that was it right here. Bronco pulmonary.
there is another video that shows me drawing this right line and there it is on the left bronchopulmonary lymph node so that covers the whole hyla area good so now that we labeled that let's actually for this one let's number things before i go let's number things that are in the hyla okay so let's number pulmonary artery because that helps when you're reviewing to know that you covered everything Okay, I forgot one thing that I should put. See, numbering helps you remember. Here we go. I want to draw a bronchial vessel here. Bronchial vessel. Let's just make it two. Make this three. Make this four. Five. Six. And make this seven and pulmonary ligament it's not really in the hollow but let's just label it eight okay and in the plural sleeve nine so okay that's it for the things that I want to label here nine of them now let's go ahead and draw other things like the oblique fissure you have to draw it from somewhere here going yeah. and let's draw Another part of it where it's coming. So let's put it at an angle here. So that I can draw it to here. Less oblique than I want it to look. I'm gonna bend it more. Mm. It just make it look something like that. It's alright. Oblique. So right there too, I used a different color, sorry for that, but there we go, oblique fusion. It might actually be a good idea to use a different color, let's just stick with it. Okay, 
basal oblique fissure. Now let's draw. You just notice that for the left lung you don't have the horizontal fissure like you had on the right lung. Okay. Here I want to. Uh, I'm trying to fix this so that it looks a little bit more like a one. This group, but as you can see, I am not an artist at all. So in the area, that's it, but we need to have a cardiac impression, impression here like we had on the other lung, but it's around this area. Give the cardiac impression. Okay. We have labeled the groove of the subclavian artery apex, area for the trachea, endosophagus, groove for the arch of the aorta, oblique fascia. We labeled the groove of the descending aorta, pulmonary ligament. Area for the esophagus, we label the inferior surface, the, diaph the diaphragmatic surface, the oblique fissure, the lingular cardiac notch, cardiac impression, you know, and again the anterior border. Now, let's go over where the subclavian artery will be around the area of the subclavian. I'm going to erase this later if it doesn't look good. I don't think it will look good. But here, it will be here. This will be where the artery will be at. And you will see that they will be the arc of the aorta and the descending aorta that will be going actually like this. That will be the descending aorta goes here. It will be going here in this area. It will be like big here I am not good at art but you can see where I'm getting at and it will be arc the arc of the order will be arcing here arching here like so and so on something like that you know and you'll be having the vagus nerve come to this area of the hyla
and the phrenic nerve coming here and going down. So this will be a phrenic, okay? So imagine, this is not perfect drawing. Imagine your, your subclavian artery here. I'm going to label a order. That would be the descending. The order here, you will have your vagus going to the area, you know, of the hyla. It's going under, that's what it looks like, yeah. And then the phrenic nerve there. Okay, so um, that's about it for the main things. Well, in the thoracic duct, will be somewhere here. That will be the thoracic. I think it's pretty obvious where everything goes. I'm going to erase this. And as I do, you can be reviewing Apex, Area of Trachea, and Esophagus, so with Fischia. Group of the arc, brachial vessel, left main bronchus, inferior lobe, um, bronchus, group of descending aorta, pulmonary ligament, area cervicus, inferior border, diaphragmatic surface, oblique fissure, lingula, cardiac nudge, cardiac impression, pulmonary veins, pleural sleeve, anterior border, bronchopulmonary lymph node, superior lobe bronchus, pulmonary artery, growth for first rib, growth for subclavian. So there we are. This is the left lung.